Hello, Dr. Mills. I just wanted to ask, what do you study? My lab is really interested because you, I said that I was interested in gastrointestinal diseases and digestive diseases, meaning you know, stomach, intestine, and including liver and pancreas. A lot of our research focuses on those organs. Because I trained as a doctor also and a pathologist, pathologists are interested in tissue and, and, and the basis of disease. We're always interested in disease, but we're interested in how the cells that make up the tissues can go wrong or how we can potentially harness their, their capacity to repair uh, things in disease. So a lot of our focus is on those diseases. So for example, one of the things we're really interested in is how cancers form. Technically, cancer cells are caused because of change in their DNA from regular cells, right? Yes, what we think happens is that you've got, you've heard of stem cells and those are the stem cells that are kind of the ones that can give rise to other cells. There are not that many stem cells in most of the organs. What we think is that those normal stem cells are actually, because they're professionals, that's what they do all the time, actually pretty good at resisting any of those mutations. And so they're dividing all the time, and if a mutation comes in, they just are kind of gotten rid of. But the problem comes when you try to recruit them to act like stem cells and try to repair something. It's my lab and the people in it that came up with a name for the, the process of recruiting these uh, mature cells to come back uh, and act as stem cells. We call it palaginosis. Those cells have been doing something else and they've been using their DNA to make proteins to digest stuff. And they've been doing that in potentially for years. And now suddenly you're asking them to rearrange everything and come back and act like a stem cell. And it's those cells that we think are the risk because they can accumulate mutations in the DNA, but they're hidden because, you know, they're, the DNA mutations that are important for cancer are ones that regulate cell growth, and if they're not growing and they're just doing their digestion function, then there's no check on them. So the problem comes in that situation. And then once they have some of that and they start growing, then they can get a lot more mutations and then you get a cancer.